welcome to the Psychonauts bonus video, um, number two, yeah, let's do the second one first. So, uh, our second one is, um, if I can remember how to get to it, yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, not that. Oh, uh, the, the primal memory, so I've got the other card. I'm not sure if you can tell, and it's messing me up. Anyway, the primary memories are like concept sketches of the game. Um, I was showing these as I went through. Then I kind of realised there's a few spoilers in some of them. So I thought I'd leave it to the end. Um, there's not really too much to say about this. Just slide on through and enjoy looking. Pause if you want to look longer. Uh, don't pause if you don't want to look faster, and don't watch the video if you don't want to see it at all. Um, that's about it. That's Koji Oleander's um, self-fried brain. Buy a brain tumbler. I can speak Dogen. Yay for Dogen. Wish there's a game where you got to play as Dogen. Um, Dr. Lobotto. TV. Yeah, that boat I can't remember if I showed this one or not. I think I did, because um, it shows a brain tank. And you can get that before you're anywhere near the brain tank, which is why I kind of rushed through it. But anyway, here's the brain tank. Um, yeah. Uh, Sasha 9. Primal memories. So he's obviously thinking about the main campground. And they're kind of little Sasha plus Miller, is there? Yeah. They, they've got a little thing going. I'm not sure if it's fully... Um, Reciprocated, but I reckon they like each other. So these are some of the early sketches for Sasha's brain. It was a bit more um, confusing back then. And the Mega Sensor. Oh, how we love that guy. Mia Vodello. I wonder if we have anything about our kids in it. Uh, so just her profile, her dances, her dances being rendered. Um, just generally her level. Oh, the bounce at the start of the level, which you had to float through the rings to get past. Yeah, one of the shoes in the very, very painful racing area. It's not the racing area is particularly bad, but there's like a hundred figments in it, each worth one, and I had to get them all to get the bonus video. And then my game crashed, and I had to start all over. So, uh, Beneath Our Bookcast doesn't have one. Uh, Lungfish Opolis. Um, waterfront, I guess. Original Lily sketches. She looked like she's going to be a bit more um, gothic, particularly that one eating the apple. But, um, whatever. Uh, my nose is running, and that's disgusting. And that's Lungfish, which is apparently originally going to be in the suit. Or is that just meant to be one of the ones in the level? Uh, lake floor. The Lungfish town, oh, so that's what that little town was down there. I wondered about that. All the residents of Lungfish Opolis. And apparently you've got to notice that the, they've got no anglet dangles. Anglerfish dangles or whatever. And yeah, that's that one. And um, 40 towers doesn't have one. Boyd's. These should be good. Boyd as the milkman and the police officer. Another reason you probably don't want to look through this, I mean, you've probably worked out by the end of level that he's the milkman, but there's a chance you might not have. Oh, he's going to have a bow tie at one point. <laughs> His house. Yeah. If anything, I'd say that's more confusing in their sketches than it actually is in the game, which is an achievement. Uh, the rainbow squirts. Bless them. All the different vehicles. There was an ice cream truck before. Um, yeah, one of the agents. And I guess that's more of the level. And yeah, lead for Rainbow Brights. Okay, um, Gloria Van Guten. So we've got um, a little plant shed where she's painting faces and everything as if that's her audience. Uh, that's the basic layout for a stage. Um, more of the stage, I guess. Um, the happy and angry creatures. Bonita. 
the critic. I like the critic actually. Um, yeah, the. <laughs> I'm just looking at the bottom right where he appears to be like wearing a huge corset. <laughs> um, you'd think that amount of fat that'd end up giving any person boobies, guy or woman. But whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, so Fred Bonaparte's teacup, straight jacket, towel, and shirtless, whatever. Uh, okay, that's just the upper insane asylum. That's inside. Napoleon, of course, you should recognise him. Uh, oh, apparently there's going to be snow once, I don't remember there being snow there. Um, my bridges. Uh, apparently the wooden bridges are going to be small, smaller ones. Soldiers, the fat knight, and that's about it. Uh, Edgar. We've got, yeah, the psycho who is trying to stop you getting up the tower. Edgar. One of the dogs. Fountain of pain. Oh, I can I kind of wasn't sure whether it's paint or whether it's just his world was so stylized that everything was pink and purple and it was just meant to be water. Whatever. I do like Black Velvetopia. A uh, flamingo dancer with the incredibly jiggly boobs. Um, or Fight Arena. Um, it's a young Oleander sex self. Um, quivering little lips. The top note says lips, lots of quivering, and the bottom note says no lips. Doesn't really make sense, but whatever, that's Shigor for you. Certainly not related to Igor. Um, apparently there are going to be ball returns at one point. I look in the top. Uh, the very top of the insane asylum. Pokey look. I guess originally you put the cake on the plate. Yeah. But now you just hold the cake near it and he walks towards the cat. Oh, there's going to be a little bed inside his chamber. And there's how a sneezing crowd works, that's kind of fun. Tent City, which is less fun. Especially when it's all made of meat, it doesn't look too bad on this. Um, yeah, now that looks creepy, when it's all meat. To be fair, that's pretty much what it looked like in the end, isn't it? Well, some things have changed, actually. No, quite a lot it's changed. Uh, yeah, Polly's dad. And, um... They're two blocked out videos because they're the end videos. So that's it for this time on Let's Play Psychonauts bonus video 2. I'll see you next time with bonus video 3.